This video is going to walk you through some tools that you might see if your teacher has created an assessment in Schoology that they would like for you to take. When you begin your assessment, the first screen that you're going to see might contain some important information for you to review. So you're going to see the name of the assessment up top, and then you might see some important instructions that your teacher has given you. Make sure you take a moment to read these instructions. As you scroll down, you're going to see what your grade is or it could be. So in this example, this assessment is going to be worth a total of 18 points. When you are ready to begin this assessment, you are going to click the Start Attempt button. If this button is not available, this means that your teacher is not accepting submissions at this time. When you click on Start Attempt, it's going to open up the first question for you. Once you get into your questions, you might see a toolbar on the right hand side of your screen. This toolbar is going to offer you any tools that your teacher has allowed you to use during your assessment. The first tool is going to be review and it looks like a little calendar. When you click on this, this is going to review all of the questions that you have and it's going to allow you a way to be able to click back into those questions to go back and see what your answers might be. The next option that is going to be important is the ability to flag for review. If this is a question that you are unsure of or you want to go back to at a later time to review, you can click on this flag for review and it's going to turn that little symbol blue. The next option that you might see is going to be the option to eliminate choices. If your teacher has enabled this, this allows you to click on this button and when you are looking for your choices at the bottom and you know one of those choices is not correct, you can click on that and that's going to take that choice out of your ability to click. Once you've eliminated all of the choices that you think are incorrect, you can click on that icon again and now you would be able to go in and use the options that you think are correct. If your teacher has enabled a calculator, you will find that there and you can click on any of these to do your calculations and you can close out of this when you are done. For any questions that might need a ruler, when you click on the ruler, you would be able to open up that option and you would be able to click and rotate by using the arrow button. To get rid of the ruler and have it hidden again, you would click on that icon to close it. The next option you might see available is your protractor and you can move this around your screen in the same way and you could rotate this as you need also with the arrows on the side. The last option that you might see is a notepad if your teacher has allowed this. Once you click on the notepad, this is going to open up a blank space for you to take your notes. Once you're done with that, you can close that notepad and when you open it again, your notes will be there. You can always put this assessment into full screen by clicking on those arrows and now it's going to take up the full screen for you to navigate through. Once you're at the last question, you're going to see this option for review and this is going to bring you to the screen that you can look at before you submit this. So notice here, this is the question that I flagged for review, so if I wanted to click on that, it would blink, bring me back into that question. When I'm all finished and I am ready to submit this, I can click on the finish button and it's going to ask me if I want to submit this activity, at which point I would click yes if I was ready. This will then get sent off to your teacher for grading.